What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about how to wear the color green. I wear a lot of green, from olive to dark forest to this kind of dusty green color. It just it looks good with my skin tone and my eye color, and I find it really easy to pair with other colors. So there's so many different types of green, you know, from, from warm greens that have yellow in them to cool greens that have blue in them olive green, which is really accessible. I got a lot of green back here. Got a green plant over there, a little green light. There's some green grass out there. So maybe you also like wearing green and need some outfit ideas, or maybe you just wanna know how to wear green on St. Patrick's Day without looking tacky. Either way, I've got you covered. To prepare for this video, I was looking through my Instagram and I realized just how much green I wear. And I thought, hmm, my name is Brock McGough. It sounds pretty Irish. And I'm kind of a smaller guy. Am I a, no. Couldn't be. Anyways, let's look through some outfits. So we're over on Instagram at Modest Man Style, and right away, most recent pick features a green uh, flannel work shirt, uh, button up shirt over at Henley from Peter Manning NYC. It's a great uh, fall and winter button up shirt, and just a little hint of green, and the umbrella's green too, so that kind of uh, plays off the shirt a little bit. And then we have these olive green chinos from Uniqlo. Uh, they're the ultra stretch and the skinny fit. I love these chinos, wear them all the time, and it works really well with blue and white. Here's another uh, green piece that I really like. It's my nylon windbreaker from J. Crew. I've had this for years. Awesome, really lightweight jacket. Uh, fair warning, the zipper on this jacket sucks. <laughs> it broke like immediately, so I just wear it open, but it is great for like spring and summer when you just need a tiny bit of, of warmth or protection from the wind. Here's a kind of different take on greens. This is a dark forest green uh, wool long sleeve polo from Uniqlo, and then these kind of faded black jeans from Everlane. Dark green and black is a great combo in the same way that burgundy and black is a really nice combo. They're both dark colors, so you get that nice low contrast outfit, and they look really cool together. So I really like that combo, dark green and black. All right, and this outfit, it's a blue outfit, basically a tonal blue outfit, and then I just have this hat this uh, polo bear hat uh, in green. So again, it just works so well with shades of blue. Here's that same outfit again with the close up on the hat. And by the way, in case you didn't know, you can always go over to themodestman.com slash outfits to see all of my outfits, a bunch of different angles, and then you can shop the look using these links. Okay, so moving on. Here's a, a slightly different one. This is a green tweed suit, Donegal tweed from Oliver Wicks. It's definitely my only like winter weight suit. Um, and it's just so interesting. You can see the tweed has these just specks of gold and blue and red and dark blue. And so it works really well with uh, like different shirts and ties. Like this tie has some gold and some blue and orange in it. And it really works nicely with the jacket and the pants. So very cool uh, Donegal tweed green suit. Now here's an outfit that has two different shades of green. So we have this dark forest green um, fleece zip up from Uniqlo and then the same olive chinos from Uniqlo. Uh, and you know, I really like these kind of tonal looks. So this is different tones of blue and different tones of green, which are two colors that look really good together. So it's kind of like an analogous, almost monochromatic look. And I really like these kinds of color schemes. Again, kind of a tonal outfit, those same chinos, and then with a, a blue chambray uh, button up shirt and then a darker blue uh, lightweight vest. And of course you can't go wrong with white, green, and blue. It's just a solid timeless color scheme that pretty much always works. Another piece I love in green is this field jacket from Peter Manning. I've had this one for many years. It's broken in really nicely. It's like an olive, kind of like a, a drab, like army green. And it's a great color for a field jacket. It's like your classic field jacket colors. It's like olive green and it works well with jeans, chinos, Henleys, t-shirts, button up shirts, flannel, layering. It's just such a versatile piece. Again, using those um, olive chinos and you can see like olive is actually a pretty neutral color. Like it, I have these colorful socks on and the olive still looks great. Um, and then I'm wearing it with a uh, blue and gray and then white sneakers. Here I'm wearing a, a green, like a darker green, almost like a forest green um, crew neck sweatshirt. This one's from Asket. 
uh, with a blue kind of jogging pants and then a tan raincoat. Again, just a nice, simple color scheme, uh, very interchangeable and uh, just works really nicely together. Again, using that olive field jacket with blue and kind of like an off-white shirt. And then here I've got the navy field jacket, same same jacket, different color with olive chinos. So it's totally interchangeable. You know, we've got olive on the outside with blue on the inside, and then here blue on the outside with olive on the bottom. Uh, another kind of tonal look, so I have the olive chinos here, and then the darker uh, olive driving mocks from Bobby's. Uh, and again, just mixing different tones of the same color is a really good way to have that streamlined kind of monochromatic look, um, but without looking like you're wearing like a, a one color jumpsuit. And then another outfit I really like is this um, uh, kind of casual summer outfit with uh, olive chino shorts. So again, if you're only gonna own like one or two pairs of chino shorts, I think olive is a great color. It's just as versatile as like khaki, tan, or navy. Even more versatile maybe, because it's kind of like medium. So you can wear it with lighter outfits or darker outfits. And here it works really well with this dark floral print and these navy boat shoes. And here's another outfit featuring that um, green nylon windbreaker from J. Crew. Just a really fresh jacket uh, for summer, and you can definitely wear it with shorts too. This is actually one of my favorite um, uh, photo shoots that I did with this really talented photographer in Tucson uh, featuring uh, Peter Manning olive chinos. So these are actually a slightly warmer olive color. So you can see it's got a little more yellow in it compared to those Uniqlo chinos. Works really well with tan, gray, white, brown. Uh, just a really, really nice shade of olive. And then here's one more outfit using that windbreaker. I've just gotten a ton of wear, a surprising amount of wear out of this green windbreaker. So, you know, green can be a very versatile color. Jumping over to themodestman.com slash outfits, uh, we've got uh, featured this olive uh, field jacket again from Peter Manning. And again, it just, it just works so well with like neutral colors, like light blue, you know, light wash jeans, white sneakers gray Hanley, uh, it just, olive is just such a good color to pair with all of those things. So here's another one, this is an old one. This is like one of the first like selfie photo shoots I did in my old apartment that I kind of had converted the living room to a studio. Um, and I actually did this one on St. Patrick's Day, so it's fitting. Uh, again, tonal, you know, it's, it's, it's a green, kind of like a cool green, almost like a, um, like a blue green V-neck wool sweater over a green button up. Uh, a gingham, a green and blue button up. And so the whole outfit is made up of shades of blue and green, and that's why it works so well together. And then of course, a tan or a camel top coat, any shade of brown really is gonna work well with shades of green. So if you're new to wearing green, I highly recommend just starting with like a pair of olive chinos. Um, try Peter Manning if you need a shorter inseam. Try Uniqlo if you're looking for something affordable. Um, if you're not sure which chinos to buy, go watch John's video over at the Cavalier. He did like an ultimate roundup of chinos, really helpful. But start with olive. And then you can expand like a, a darker green like sweater or crew neck sweatshirt and like a forest green uh, if, if you like wearing the olive chinos, you know. I'm not saying everybody has to wear green, but there are ways to incorporate it into your wardrobe, uh, even just for St. Patrick's Day in a way that's not like super tacky, like wearing a big shiny green hat or something like that. So I hope this helped. Again, if you need outfit ideas, be sure to follow at Modest Man Style on Instagram. I'm posting all the time over there. I post a lot of stories and I love interacting with you guys on Instagram. Uh, and then if you'd like to shop the look for some of these outfits that I'm posting, just go over to themodestman.com slash outfits and you can click on an outfit and it will give you kind of more details about it, more photos of that outfit, and then you can shop the look. So if you have any questions about wearing green, let me know down in the comments. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. I myself will likely be doing some Irish bicep curls tonight, so be safe out there, have fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay stylish.